The, birth, the lymphocytes are all dead. They're destroyed. So the virus loses the cells that it has to keep replicating. In this acute stage of the disease, however, at this immunoperoxidase stage, we can see that there is a lot of virus in the bursa. And for that reason, these bursas are valuable for diagnosis. And the histopathology can help to, to focus your diagnostic efforts to determine your exact challenge virus. What does this mean when the, when the virus infects the bursa? It means that the bird has become susceptible to bursa disease virus. Either the maternal antibody has declined to the point that we can, the virus can now override and establish an active infection, or there is a new virus, a variant virus that Dr. Vida has discussed, which is able to come in and infect the bird even in the presence of a high level of immunity. Using histopathology, we can determine precisely which bursas are going to yield a lot of virus, and we can greatly increase the success of typing that virus so that uh, decisions can be made about vaccination of breeders and of the growers. In Alabama, again, with a mild paramyxovirus infection, they have respiratory disease. You see that the bursas are uniformly small in atrophy. We know that this is from bursal disease. But if you look at the thymus slopes, you can see that in seven birds, three of these birds have very small thymus slopes. For example, look at the lobes here, buried in this fat, compared to the large thymus lobes here. This is the influence of chicken infectious anemia starting to replicate in a broiler flock after the maternal immunity has declined. These birds do not have blue wing, uh, they don't have anemia. They are protected because the breeders are vaccination, vaccinated. But when the maternal immunity decreases, then the virus is able to express. We've studied this over many years, and we learned that in, in Alabama, the bursal disease challenge typically occurs between days 20 and 30, and this shows the increase in bursal scores from diagnostic cases. And this blue line represents the thymus atrophy that occurs in our birds in the field. This is based on hundreds of cases, or more than 600 cases. So this is a, a trend that we see repeating uh, even today we see this problem. The litter also contains bursal disease virus and chickenemia virus. If this bird gets bursal disease by 14 days of age or younger, it is going to be permanently immunosuppressed. More common, we see birds that are going to be transiently immunosuppressed. And these viruses may be involved in this transient immunosuppression. The degree of severity is going to influence how well that bird can respond to respiratory virus challenge, bacterial disease challenge, and ultimately, these are going to be translated into cost, livability, and feed conversion. 